वेलकम बैक टू बाल विज्ञान भारती विद विला सरकार योर नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज कमिंग द नंबर थर्टी वन इन फ्लूड स्टेटिस्टिक्स इट से थर्टी वन फाइंड द एब्सोल्यूट प्रेसर एब्सोल्यूट प्रेसर एंड गेज प्रेसर एट पॉइंट एट पॉइंट ए बी एंड सी एस सोन इन फिगर एस सोन इन फिगर given one at a is equal to into the power five pascal that we know already then you have the diagram there is a container it contains three liquid layer by layer it is mercury the second layer is water and the third layer is kerosene kerosene okay <coughs> point given here somewhere it is a here somewhere it is b and the bottom it is touching is c <coughs> the respective height of this point from the top flat surface of the liquid it is 1 meter from point a and from this surface to this point is given is 1.5 meter <coughs> and this dimensions are given 0.5 meter this dimension is given 2 meter this dimension again is given 2 meter <coughs> okay and the density is respectively this is kerosene 800 kg per meter cube this is water means 1000 kg per meter cube this is row row of kerosene water row of mercury 13600 kg per meter cube okay this is known mm, okay so now we have to find the absolute pressure and the gauge pressure so as you know on any surface this is atmospheric pressure always will act p atmosphere so my any pressure at in any any height let's say any height h my pressure formula is ph is equal to p atmospheric plus h rho and g this is the basic form where where in this this is absolute pressure this is atmospheric pressure and this is your gauge pressure that you know from the theory itself okay now there we have uh, uh, the theory is given on the basis of one only one liquid but what about all this liquid if it is a different liquid uh, is acting what would be the value whether i can straight away use this formula or not okay so that so many questions is coming because if i want to say uh, use this formula the p atmospheric will come on the surface that is coming uh, uh, coming in contact with the atmosphere so this will be the part it will be applicable when i will calculate this but then after after uh, this part will be variable when we vary height now in that case we are not varying this part the density but if you go go on dipping yourself you will see that height is automatically increasing at the same time this is also changing so straight away i cannot use this formula but anyhow if you know uh, uh, the basic formula is this where you know this is your absolute pressure 
so this is uh, this part is your gauge pressure now they also uh, uh, said in a different way where you have to find the absolute pressure and gauge pressure in the particular points when you will go on reaching these points from the top we have to get the so first my concern is to get a so for that i need to have its height of h so what is that from the from the surface of the top surface this is 1 meter okay this is done what do you guys know because i am where in the first liquid where only kerosene is available no other fluid is touching for point a so the density density of kerosene only will be applicable okay so that is 800 meter kg per meter cube this these are the parameters needed and what is p atmospheric the p0 the p atmospheric that will be needed so this much so then absolute pressure absolute pressure at a is equal to your p atmospheric means p0 plus h of point a rho of the liquid that means kerosene in n to g this will be the case so <clears throat> this part is your gauge pressure no, if i calculate differently so the gauge pressure that means p gauge so p gauge is equal to h that means 1 into rho of kerosene is 800 and 1 is in meter so i need not to change its uh, density unit this is meter this is si unit this is also in si unit in this case g will take in a session and round off to 10 will take for our uh, calculation purpose so this is nothing but 8 into 10 to the power 3 this is the pressure gauge pressure so gauge pressure at a so that one part of the answer for a is done now next this will be used here so what is the atmospheric pressure in si unit that is equal to atmospheric is what one atmospheric is 10 to the power 5 pascal and this is 8 into 10 to the power cube this is the pascal also because this is in uh, newton per meter square whatever i will get here i am getting uh, 10 to the power 5 pascal for atmospheric pressure plus if i am to convert in 10 to the power 5 that is a point 08 into 10 to the power 5 that will come into the same same unit this is equal to 1 into 8 800 into 10 so 8 into 10 to the power cube that is in pascal <coughs> okay <coughs> newton per meter square that is pascal i'm converting into 10 to the power 5 that means two decimal will go here so your gauge pressure is this and uh, your absolute pressure is 1.08 10 to the power 5 pascal okay so for a point this is the absolute pressure and gauge pressure at a is equal to how much 8 into uh, or you can say uh, 0.08 into 10 to the power 5 pascal so the a part is gone now second set when i will reach b so let me check what will be the case for b first thing is height Height of B is how much? This you know two. Up to this, from this sir, it is 1.5. So total height is two plus 1.5. That is equal to 3.5 meter. That is done. Now what is the uh, pressure here? I will get the pressure here can be calculated by pressure for the kerosene total column and the pressure for this much of the water column so that so my total pressure will be the p uh, absolute at b is equal to p0 atmospheric pressure will be there plus pressure due to the kerosene complete of height how much 2 meter This will the complete column will act there, 
plus pressure for water the next column is water but the height i will consider 1.5 meters so this will be the case here what is your gauge pressure so gauge pressure will be this part is your gauge pressure for b the so gauge pressure for b will be the p for kerosene of 2 meter column plus p for water which is a 1.5 meter of column <coughs> so this is 2 into rho rho of kerosene is 800 plus water means how much 1.5 and rho is equal to 1000 okay this is the pressure h rho and for whole thing g will be common because g is applicable to anything in a same manner <coughs> so this is 2 into 601.6 into 1000 is 1 1.5 into 1000 so that means 3.1 into 1000 into the 3 into g is equal to 10 again so that means is equal to 0 0.31 into 10 to the power 5 pascal <coughs> this is your gauge pressure for b and absolute pressure for b is equal to 10 to the power 5 plus 0 0.31 into 10 to the power 5 so all total this is 1.31 into 10 to the power 5 pascal this is your absolute pressure for b okay next come <coughs> your point c <coughs> so point c height for point c is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 0.5 so that is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 0 0.5 because that is in the bottommost part so 4.5 is the height per meter so again absolute pressure for c is equal to atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to kerosene plus pressure due to water plus pressure due to mercury because of everything i am taking the full column so this is 2 meter this is 2 meter this is 0.5 meter so here this is your gauge pressure p gauge so this is equal to if i calculate the p gauge is equal to h into rho is 800 plus h into 1000 plus h into 1360 whole into g so that is equal to 1.6 uh, this is equal to how much mm, 0 0.0 cancelled 5 uh, this will be 1600 plus 2000 plus 500056 the 33 13 uh, 15 plus 318 uh, 1 500 five, 5 and 6 this much so all total this is equal to 0 0 0 8 0 6 14 1 6 2 8 9 10 so this will be the case so if i convert it is equal to 1 1.0 1.04 into 10 to the power 5 pascal so this will be the <coughs> case of gauge pressure now what is your uh, atmosphere is 10 to the power 5 plus 0 0.104 into 10 to the power 5 so all total it is how much it is equal to 1.104 into 10 to the power 5 pascal so this is the three different part of this sum where Consequently, I have got the gauge pressure and the absolute pressure. Understood? Okay, fine. I will move on to the problem number <coughs> 32. 32 says find the pressure, find the pressure. <coughs> in the air column <coughs> at which the piston remains the piston 
remains in equilibrium assume the piston to be massless and frictionless assume the piston to be massless and frictionless so let me show you the arrangement that is we are working with a kind of vessel having few lay of this kind where one leg is being operated with a piston more of it is a piston cylinder you can say this is the piston and this is the part where air is filled so this is the cylinder air operated piston cylinder you can say the length of which from this to this is 1.73 meter okay <coughs> up to this the bottom of the piston <coughs> there is a point b which is matching at the same datum level this is your datum this is datum the liquid column here is up to 5 meter height this is your water and this part this part up to piston this is kerosene this is water this is given <coughs> this is at 60 degree given the kerosene specific density uh, is 0.8 this is uh, specific density is given or the density you can say the density or this is this much of unit is not given but you can understand this is gram per centimeter cube or equivalent to 800 kg per meter cube okay this is standard one second whereas water having in the same si unit if i take kg per centimeter uh, sorry kg per meter cube this is all our standard you need not to vary there is another point with with which the in the if i extend the datum level crossing these two legs they will cut some point a and b that are in the same <coughs> elevation with the datum this are the details given okay so what is the requirement of the sum some required that find the pressure in the air column at which the piston remains in equilibrium that means you have to find the pressure inside this so that this that the pressure whatever it is being created through this water column and this kerosene column whatever the pressure is exerted this side let's say this is p1 from this side and the air pressure from p2 from that side must be equal so that this piston will not move anywhere <coughs> Why it will not move? The piston, the both sides, the cross section is same. That means the area multiplied by the P1 exerted from the bottom, and area multiplied by the P2, which is exerted by the air pressure, entrapped into the cylinder by which the this is equilibrium. The forces are same. So these are the concept. Okay. Fine. <coughs> Now let's say this is denoted by P A, the air pressure inside the cylinder. This is your atmospheric pressure P zero or P atmospheric pressure. Okay, now <coughs> what do we know as per our thumb rule? 
the pressure at same elevation for same fluid is same so that means if i consider this partition this part is where the kerosene and water is just making some surface a contact surface whereas the below this level is water so if i just consider the level where that water is touching with the kerosene at that point this are of same liquid so that means at at <coughs> a and b we consider we consider same pressure why due to due to same liquid and same elevation okay <coughs> because this and this condition is fulfilled when the complete arrangement is in static equilibrium condition condition is in static equilibrium so these are the condition fulfilling as piston is not moving so you can understand that total liquid or the total arrangement of the fluid is in steady state or static condition in static condition you know two points of having same elevation of having same liquid are in same pressure so from there the pressure at a is equal to pressure at b you can say so this is the first and foremost concept now <clears throat> how that pressure of a can be denoted this is the atmospheric pressure p0 plus <clears throat> the pressure due to this water column here it is water this is only kerosene so this is h into rho of water into g so this is the case in pv let us see the pressure created by this pa the pressure inside the cylinder plus the length of this is 1.73 but what do we know pressure at any point is the vertical height into rho into g so what is the vertical component of this length this length if i say this is l so this l and if i see it as a imaginary triangle so this will be the vertical height so now what is this component if i say this is h so h is equal to h by this is a right angle triangle let me draw the triangle this is l this is h this is base this is h this is l okay so this is 60 as you know this is 60 so if i take sin of 60 that is equal to height upon hypotenuse so what is your h here l sin 60 this is the height of protect so now instead of this what you will write l sin 60 is my height rho of what rho of kerosene will come here of kerosene into g will come so this is my complete equation now what is this this is the atmospheric pressure this is one atmospheric pressure one at atta this is my case so this are in pascal <coughs> uh, sorry uh, this the pressure whatever it is coming if we calculate this will be the <coughs> this will come as in newton per meter square that means in pascal so this if i consider for one atta is how much 10 to the power pi pascal so straight away you can write 10 to the power pi because everything i will get in newton per meter square that is pascal so pascal of atmospheric is 10 to the power 5 5 into rho of water is 10 to the power cube and g we are taking for the round roundness it is 10 here pa unknown l is how much 1.73 and l 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 okay that uh, this is equivalent to you can say almost root 3 because root 3 is equal to what 1.732 so if i round up up to this 
so this you can consider as root 3 so i will enum, eliminate the decimal calculation i will put it in this form root 3 rho of kerosene it is 800 so i will put 800 into g is 10 so <coughs> removing all other things from here what we will get i will get 10 to the power 5 here plus if i want to convert it 10 to the power 5 then i have to take point here so this is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 5 i just want to bring everywhere 10 to the power 5 part so that calculation will be easy plus root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 by 2 into 8 and this is 10 to the power cube so i'll put it like that 10 to the power 3 so I will rub this part. Now I will not keep this here. So this is 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 that is equal to PA plus 4, 12. 10 to the power 5 means 1.12 into 10 to the power 5 you can put. So then PA is equal to how much? 1.5 minus 0.12 all into 10 to the power 5. So that means, <coughs> uh, if I deduct this, uh, 1.38 into 10 to the power 5 Pascal, this will be our <coughs> answer. And 10 to the power 5 Pascal is equal to approximately 1 atta one or bar. So you can put it like that, approximately this much of bar. Okay, <coughs> if it is needed in bar. So this will be our answer <coughs> okay moving to the next that is 30 C <coughs> 33 <coughs> A weighted piston a weighted piston ah, in the earlier problem there one thing is given that I have not discussed but that is not even uh, contribute anything in the problem piston was uh, massless and uh, frictionless that means massless means the whatever the weight of the piston it will not contributing uh, any deviation the pressure in the system that is there and friction that uh, there is no resistance force acting against against the force being created by the pa to diminish its value so frictionless and this is the ideal condition that is given if it is not given then uh, Either you can declare it if it is uh, no data has been given to calculate such uh, rec uh, means such uh, forces, then you have to declare considering that piston is weightless or frictionless. So that also can be possible. Okay, <coughs> the weighted piston confines a fluid. of density rho in a closed container in a closed container <coughs> as shown as shown in the figure in the figure the combined weight of the piston the combined weight of the piston <coughs> and weight combined weight of the piston and 
distance and weight that and weight that means uh, some additional weight is kept on the on the piston that all together is weighing 200 newton <coughs> this much force is creating so weight is in kg force into 10 so that means 20 kg force is the weight and why uh, while converting into newton we are multiplied with 10 okay and <coughs> the cross sectional cross sectional area of the piston of the piston is a equal to 80 centimeter square find the total pressure at point B the total pressure at point B if the fluid is mercury the <coughs> fluid is mercury and H is 25 centimeter rho of mercury is 1300 kg per meter cube that is there what would be the pressure order uh, what would be what would an ordinary pressure gauge read at B what an ordinary pressure gauge <coughs> read at B okay now the arrangement is somewhat given like that mm, this is a bit let me draw this part first there is a height difference that has to be understood properly this is the piston on which a weight is kept this weight is kept okay and this piston when it is acting on it so that means I have to take somewhat less height and this is the the gauge I suppose it is given there the gauge in the center line of the gauge uh, means this is not that much of high thickness means this is gauge okay this is gauge and the center line the division is this is H <coughs> the high difference to which the pressure is being created in the gauge this is the gauge okay so this is the height difference if i take from the center of this this is height difference mm, okay so let me read it out again so that it should be clear a weighted piston confines a fluid this is the fluid inside this okay uh, of density rho the density is rho okay in the closed container and so on in the figure the combined weight of the piston and the uh, and the weight the piston having some weight plus the weight it all together is giving all together giving 200 newton of force and the cross section of the piston is 80 centimeter 80 centimeter square the cross section is 80 centimeter square so that means if i convert into meter so 80 by 1 centimeter is uh, 1 upon 100 meter uh, so that means 100 this much of this much of meter square okay 
find uh, find the total pressure at point B. Where is point B? Oh, this is point B. So this is the point B, which is taken at center at point B. What is the pressure? Then point B to this piston height is given as H. Okay, due to it. So, <clears throat> so point B, the pressure we have to uh, find the pressure of fluid and height is this H is given as 25 centimeter. That means this is 25 upon 10 square meter. Okay, and density is given. So the pressure here this as because this is same liquid so at this point the pressure here p of b if i take this is the pressure which is pressure due to this column h into rho of the liquid into g this much pressure plus the this pressure plus the weight of the thing divided by the area this would be the equation, the pressure here, if I take the same line, horizontal line, the pressure here and pressure at this point, these are in same and liquid is also same, the pressure here to the pressure here will be same. So pressure of B here, there is no atmospheric pressure is acting because this is a closed one, atmospheric is only the pressure B is acting, that is equivalent to the height, there is a liquid column of height H creating some pressure plus the weight of the system, piston plus the weight together is acting on this cross section A. Okay, so now <clears throat> what is that? H is equal to 25 upon 10 square into rho of liquid. That means the liquid is, the density of rho is closed in continuous one. And what is this mercury? There is two liquid or semi liquid. The weighted pressure of the the fluid density is close continuous one in the figure uh, and the continuous. So that means if it is given that the density of mercury is given and there is no mention of the weighted piston condition of fluid density the rho rho and then uh, 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 at point B, if the fluid is mercury, <coughs> at point B, if the fluid is mercury, at point B there is a fluid is mercury. And apart from this, this will be added with some other pressure because it, this is free end. So there will be another pressure of atmospheric pressure. This has to be added there. So this I have not added earlier because this is closed system. But whereas the weight due to this water column and the pressure due to the atmosphere because there is nothing said that atmospheric pressure can be nullified. This is also there. And at B, the density uh, the fluid is said to be mercury mercury uh, what it said find the total pressure at point b if the fluid is mercury oh, that fluid is said to be mercury okay fine so that uh, the the fluid that is con contained here is mercury so we can take the row of mercury directly <coughs> so row of mercury is 13.6 into 10 to the power 3 into G I am taking as 10 further weight of this is 200 Newton so that that means 200 into uh, sorry I will write it 200 and this is in SI unit so no need of change and there area is then area if I take in meter square so that is Newton per meter square where, whereas that, uh, that thing is changed uh, converted into meter square 80 divided 10 to the power 4 will go up 10 to the power 4 plus along with 10 to the power 5 pascal for your atmospheric pressure so all total this is if i cancel 10 square 10 will be there 10 square will be there 
13.6 into 25. So that means 150, 15 will be there, 75 plus 15, 99 will be there, 25 plus 9, 34. So 34 will be there first part. So 34 if I multiply 3400, 13.6. So there is one point so 340. So 340 into 10 to the power 2 will be there first term. Second term this one, this one will come. 4 2 the 4 5 the 2.5. So 2.5 into 10 to the power. Mm, 10 to the power 4 plus 10 to the power 5 so this will be the case so now I will drop this part this is done so calculation this is 3 point so if I want to make it 10 to the power 5 so this will 3 part will go there so 0.34 into 10 to the power 5 plus 0.25 into 10 to the power 5 plus 10 to the power 5 okay so this all gone point one one will be there and this together point five nine so one point five nine into ten to the power five and that's in Pascal will be the pressure at B. Okay. So this will be the pressure at B. Now this can be said to be one point five nine bar or at a approximate okay <clears throat> so this is the end of this session in the next session i will move on to the problem number 34 thank you for now good night